Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, I have neglected my anime abilities of dropping everything that I think is amazing on the channel. And this one is mainly for the people who haven't heard or the people that are questioning to check out this show but the one show I want to honestly honestly recommend to people um, is just the fact that there's an amazing show out here and not only is it amazing it has the potential that people are already given it to rival some of the old school shows that I truly love and I honestly haven't even seen the final episode which is why I'm doing a review on this show for this final episode because I have been watching it all the way up till now I just didn't find really a, a good time to put it on the channel when it was going on but as of now I think I can clearly say that if you haven't been watching this it will definitely be one of my videos for uh, why you should watch because it's already have a full done sub and I didn't watch it and there's something about this dub that I really want to talk about and something that I noticed while watching it and so with that being said we are pretty lucky to be seeing um, this type of quality of a show like in the sense of the storytelling and just the sense of the overall uh, comprehension of where everything is leading them from start to finish there's just a lot of good ways that you can look into um, all of the aspects that they throw into Megalo but just to talk about only this week's episode um, this was the true like nature of the beast this was like the true way of finding out what it's like to step into your enemy's shoes kind of look at um, what your enemy does and pretty much take that for your own and try to uh, defeat someone with it so with Urien he pretty much only knows um, from as of lately the power of what it feels like to box with those machines on him and to actually um, you know focus more on what the machine is telling him overall of just doing what he should do best and fighting with skill so with gearless joe doing all the things that he's doing it easily shows that even without the gear um if he had true skill he would be able to take out gearless joe no problem and that's the aspect of what i'm getting at of this show is to take something that was pretty much just a risk and to then flip it into something that is something both characters are struggling to understand why it is not only just fun but it's something that they both feel like they can't go without doing in this next uh, boxing match that they're about to get into so <clears throat> to know that we're in a position to be seeing some of the dopest fights that the show had to offer or that from episode one they kind of teased you with and never really did anything with all of that is coming you know like it's all falling into place and to think that it started with just a random encounter of two people passing each other to lead to a stage where all of a sudden they're fighting and everybody has to watch not only do they have to watch but they then get to make bets on who they think can win I wouldn't be surprised if after seeing that he isn't going to use his boxing gear now that people take uh, gearless Joe's side in this entirely you know like they're like oh well gearless Joe's been fighting like with gears gearless stuff all the time so what time does what chance does someone with no gear have against him and I think that would be a <clears throat> pretty fun way to not only put the odds against the champion but make it a fight that no one will ever forget when the champion almost beats gearless joe at a fight that 
uh, only people that watch Gearless Show thought he can do. So it's building up this amazing, amazing overall arc for both characters. And I haven't seen a show do that for, you know, two characters, let alone um, more than that, where you're so compelled to see everybody's uh, entirety of what they're going to bring along and just where the story is going to leave them at the end of the day. But Megalo is something I honestly heard a lot about, but I wanted to watch it at my own time, and that's exactly what I got to do. And to think that I was going to enjoy it this much, I definitely kind of wish I watched it. But this is the thing I wanted to talk about that I was talking, that I uh, alluded to at the beginning, is I love sub. I love certain Japanese voices like... uh, Hisoka, I could pick out Hisoka's voice out of like a lot of voices now from just hearing the sub. And I'm truly grateful that there's, you know, wonderful actors and actresses that just do a crazy great job at um, conveying characters and making you feel like, you know, you just get a personal understanding with what they were going for. So with watching this dub and not watching any sub... I felt such a deeper and emotional connection than I ever did when I watched something like Cowboy Bebop, which the show is being compared to as of lately. And to think that I actually saw what people, you know, were kind of alluding to and wanted to uh, put the comparison at was really cool because I always, I watched Cowboy Bebop, um, first when it was dubbed and because of that the dub has such a special place in my heart that when I hear the sub I get kind of like defensive over people who think the sub would be better than the dub you know because I've started with it and I think that's how I'm going to feel with Megalo I absolutely love how they delivered this main character he has this rugged and like beaten down voice that just sounds like someone who may have given up more than one time in the sense of what he's fighting for what he's living for and you can kind of hear that just off of the way he carries himself and the reason why i can even say this or the reason why that i'm even telling you guys that um this kind of changed my opinion on how i'm looking at dubs and sub is because without watching anything of this on the sub i found a very deep liking for it in the dub and I don't think I would have found that if I already had seen uh, great performances that they may deliver throughout the show but I watched the one episode where he kind of finally fights someone without any gear on and protects the kid that becomes pretty prominent in the show which I'll talk about in my why you should watch but it's just those types of things that I didn't really notice until I uh, you know had a chance to get away from the sub and watch a whole bunch of the dub at one point and then just get stuck on wanting more of it and to find out that the show is only 13 episodes I wanted to at least get a review out and tell you guys how much I like the dub and how much you guys should definitely give it a chance um, and tell me if if you have watched the sub or if you're just a first time watcher what do you think about this performance in this dub because I feel like either this actor or this voice actor is new um, and he may be uh, trying to start you know his vo- his career and get more and more uh, places but I honestly honestly think he has a very very uh, great talent for this so I really hope to hear his voice under some more of these types of characters like these underdog types of characters that kind of would throw their life away for you know, one fight if it if it would give them and their people life and give them some reason to fight for another day. Uh, that's the types of stuff that kind of makes me glad I get to watch um, all these shows and talk to you guys about them because I can be 100% honest with them and then you guys go watch them, tell me how you feel about them and usually most of the people I get to talk to feel either the same way or they bring a deeper meaning than I even thought about at some point. So that's the type of stuff that I made this channel for was just to 
see where people are at in these situations and kind of get an understanding of where uh, maybe some mangas go with the the actual uh, light novel and stuff like that. It, it's it's all very helpful, and I enjoy just being able to chill and talk to you guys. So with all that being said, hope you guys have an amazing night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're watching this. And I am the Anime G. I'm going to be talking uh, about a lot of animes coming up soon that are going to be dropping. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this types of videos, my reviews. And pretty soon I'll be dropping some uh, other stuff other than just reviews just to try it out on the channel. It might not be a mainstay, but if I can get some more content onto you guys when there's times like this where there's not a lot of shows I can drop, like three, ep uh, three videos a day and stuff, I'll try to just get whatever I can out to you guys. So I also dropped a, a link in the description for you guys. So when you guys are done watching this or when you start and you hear about this, um, there's, I was talking about One Punch Man's new Season 2 trailer, and if you guys want to hear about that, I have a post that I made, and I posted it even on Twitter, so make sure you check that out if you guys want to hear more from me. Uh, I am the Anime G, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. So with that, uh, later. Peace.